Hi, it's Anne-Marie here. Um, today I thought we'd have a go at making these little paintings. Um, and they are created from a larger painting that I've cut up. And this one I've cut up um, into equal sizes. And I've got six small abstract paintings. And this one I'll cut up a bit more. And I've got all these really lovely little squares with lots and lots of um, colour and little mark making going on. Some are quite loud, some are fairly quiet. So I thought we'd have a bit of fun um, creating one of these. And first of all, you need to create a, a painting like this. I call it a painting with lots of visual noise. Um, one that you um, can go to town on and um, have fun and play around with and, and not be too worried about what you produce because don't forget we are going to cut this up so let's get started I'm going to use watercolour paints and I've got some gouache paints as well so on your piece of watercolour paper then you need to just start getting some colour down so I'm just going to choose some random colours here and just put some blobs here and there on the paper just to get kind of get it started and once you're kind of pleased happy with that or pleased with that you can um, add some more sort of marks so I might do some lines and you can be quite inventive with this just experiment because that's all it is let's um, add some blue into this wet patch I've got up here and made, I've made this lovely purple because it has some red on my brush you can make some marks like this it really really doesn't matter I'm going to leave that totally up to your imagination you can also draw on your paper you can draw on your paper afters but I kind of like doing a mixture of both but a scribbling in the white I like to scribble there we go so keep painting let's have some other things going on here a bit more red in that corner let's have some other marks here I'm trying to fill up all the paper so uh, go to the edges paint to the edges some bits you can leave white if you want to here and there that's looking quite good let's have a bit of blue going over here um, with watercolour painting obviously you'll work wet into wet and some areas will, will really run and some will uh, kind of sit there and eventually uh, make another colour I've made a kind of green here on that yellow so it is a matter of just uh, going for it. Don't be scared, just go for it. No rules, nothing will go wrong. It's only a piece of paper. So once you're happy with your um, visual noise painting, um, you can leave, obviously leave it to dry. And when it is dry, you can um, go back on it and paint again. So I've got some gouache paints here. Gouache paints, are quite opaque um, and they sit quite nicely on top of watercolour paint so I've got a white here and I painted a star here just going to fill it in a bit more um, there's this lovely blue you can mix over here go over some bits I painted earlier you see how well the gouache sits on top I have a yellow um, Yellow is a little bit transparent, but you might have to mix it with something. Let's mix some of the yellow with some white. It's gone a bit green because I've not washed my brush in between, but it doesn't matter. We, we are just literally um, messing about on this piece of paper. There you go. Lovely. Like that. I quite like blobs and dabs. The brush makes a wonderful mark which I think I showed you in another video. Well, that's really coming on quite well now. So just keep painting, keep drawing. Obviously you can draw on top with Sharpie pen if you want to do some 
other little marks. Sharpie pens that lovely and dark, so it will show up really well. So some little quirky stars here and there. So once you're happy with that, um, let it dry and then get cutting. So you create a little picture like this. Once you're happy with your arrangement, you don't have to use all your pieces. Look, I've got some left over. Lots and lots of bits left over which you can create another picture from or you could create little tags or something I quite like that one so just cut it up and choose the bits you like the best they're the bits I liked on here I like this one these you can go back in you know don't be scared to add some other things if you want to it's all about experimenting there we go and obviously there's this one and you could cut it up into even smaller bits or have two halves whatever you want absolutely no rules just have fun okay i hope that's helpful and see you soon bye